Well, the South Burlington School District is diving into the details of its plan to build a new middle and high school. People in the city are paying close attention right now ahead of a town meeting day vote on this big dollar project. Local 44 7 Bates was at a joint meeting with the school board and the South Burlington City Council where the district's 2021 budget was also on the table. He joins us live in the newsroom with more. Devin? Well, Lauren and Glenn, the school is being pitched as a project that will ensure modern education for decades in South Burlington and, of course, a major upgrade from the current middle and high school, which are said to be at the end of their usable lives. It's not every year city votes on a $209 million project, however, so the cost comes with questions. These are the latest designs for South Burlington's $209 million project, a brand new middle school and high school under one roof with athletic fields replacing the current buildings. Superintendent David Young noted that more people have become interested in the project through drop-in tours at both schools. I think there's been a fair amount of activity around just wanting to understand. A lot of people, I think, have been um, probably surprised, you know, just even though we've taken care of our buildings, I think they're surprised about the just overall magnitude of, of the need. But long-term solutions come with long-term cost. A South Burlington homeowner with a property worth $350,000 would see an average tax increase of $1,500 annually for 32 years. Households that make less than $136,000 would be eligible to pay education taxes based on income. The board mentions factors that could lower that liability, but some voters are apprehensive to say the least. The presentation we just received in terms of hearing all relevant information, I would give a great bet. 20 years into this bond, low and moderate income individuals are going to be devastated by the cost of this bond unless the state raises its tax. With a forward-thinking design that includes plenty of collaborative space and modern infrastructure, the school could be an asset to the community for the next half century. City Council Chair Helen Reilly worries the same can't be said for other buildings that aren't part of this plan. I'm just curious how it factors in what the elementary schools might need. I mean, this is a huge ask. But then potentially in, I don't know, 10 years, five years, I don't know when, you'll need some additional large figures. Now, Superintendent Young said his hope is that the state will address issues in Vermont public education and provide resources by the time an elementary school overhaul would be needed. He added that the high school and middle school were in the most need now. Voters said to the polls on March 3rd, and a public hearing on the project is scheduled for the night before town meeting day at the middle school. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.